Hello everyone. Namaskar. Rajkrishna this side. So today we are going to find the relation between other operator which is a uh, averaging operator or mean operator uh, which is mu and the shift operator which is e. So as you have a fair bit of idea about this uh, averaging operator and the shift operator as well. If shift operator is operating on let's say fx in general if I say e power n fx this gives you f of x plus nh and we'll start off with a definition of uh, averaging operator which is simple so if averaging operator is operating on fx so this is f of x plus h by 2 plus f of x minus h by 2 divided by half. Now you know this uh, f of x plus h by 2 can uh, with the with the help of this idea of um, shift operator this can be written as e power half fx because e power half fx can be written as f of x plus h by 2. So mu times fx not this is not mu times fx this is operator mu operating on fx is equal to uh, this can be written as e power half fx this can be written as e power minus half fx and because half is a constant we can write it outside of the operator also so let's write half in this fashion okay because uh, other operators which you have studied earlier like derivative so in derivative in integration we take constant outside same for this type of operators also so now mu operating on fx is we always write operators on the left hand side or the operators first followed by uh, the operand you can say so half e power half plus e power minus half and this is operating on what fx so because on both the sides uh, function is same which is fx so we can directly now compare the operators so your mu is e power half plus e power minus half divided by 2. So this was this just a simple proof. Okay. Which we did today. Just a formality relation between we already have so uh, we already saw how we can find a relation between forward difference operator and e relation between backward of difference operator and e relation between central difference operator and e and now at the end relation between averaging operator and e. you can watch all these four proofs in the playlist which is iterative techniques and interpolation Thanks again.